The Terriers of Boston University finally grabbed their brooms on a Saturday night and completed an elusive weekend sweep of the Merrimack College Warriors by a score of 3-1 to one at Parker Rink. Brady Kachuk initiated the scoring at 12-28 of the first period, in tight with a power play marker. Charges into the offensive zone, looking to throw it to the net, and the goal! Brady Kachuk slides the backhand and beats Vogler to give the Terriers a 1-0 lead on the power play. Bobo Carpenter then extended the Terriers' lead at 3.58 of the second on an initial rush strike on a feed from Shane Bowers. Bowers over the line, Bowers goes deep, and front to Bobo on a goal! The Terriers have a 2-0 lead as Bobo buries it. Late in the second, Ludwig Larson found the back of the net for a Merrimack initial rush tally, cutting the BU lead to one. For the second week in a row, Bobo Carpenter submitted a two-goal home ice performance, burying a pass from Jordan Greenway on the power play. Aaron Fabro sneaking down weak side. To the middle, Bobo turns and fires and scores. Bobo goes top shelf, left side on Vogler, and the Terriers have a two-goal lead. The Terriers held strong through the second half of the third period and skated away with the victory. Next up, BU travels to the Valley of the Sun in a two-game series with Arizona State. The first ever meeting between the two programs next Friday. Airtime at 8.45 on the Terrier Sports Radio Network. Well, that was a long time coming, you know, getting four points on a weekend. That hasn't happened, uh, I don't know if it's happened all year. I know we won our first two games of the year, but um, it was just, uh, it feels good, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, some key, key power play goal, our special teams with a difference tonight, obviously our penalty kill was good. And it starts with your goalie, but I also thought we did a better job uh, structurally killing penalties. Um, and, you know, it's two to one, and a power, we got a power play, and we got a power play goal in a timely manner. And it was, uh, you know, a power play was pretty good all weekend. Um, I'm just really happy for our guys, you know, which is uh, it's crunch time now. And, you know, two things we've talked about, we need to have urgency because we don't have time. You know, we've created a situation for ourselves where every second counts, no matter what you're doing, if we're going to achieve some of the things we want to achieve. And, uh, you know, four points feels good. Coach, your penalty kill today was stellar, killing off six complete penalties. What did you think of them? Well, I thought that we were more aggressive than we were last night. We made a couple of adjustments uh, that I thought helped. We blocked shots. Um, and it starts with your goalie. I mean, when your goalie's looking like Jake did tonight, your penalty kill is going to look good. And you kill a little bit more confidence, and you're a little bit more aggressive. And uh, you know. But that being said, you can't take seven penalties and think you're going to win a hockey game. I mean, and we deserved every one of them. Maybe one of them, I thought, was iffy. But you know, and this has been the story of our season. We, you know, the last four games, we haven't taken more than three penalties. You know, we've done a good job, and then boom, we take seven tonight. And, you know, it's 2 nothing with a minute and a half to go on a four-on-four, four, and they score in, we take a penalty. So, and then we get a two-minute man ice penalty because uh, the guy doesn't wait till the guy gets out of the penalty box. Uh, so those are the things that are frustrating that we have to clean up. Uh, but we'll address that later because I want to enjoy, you know. I thought as the game went on, we got better two five-on-five, five, especially the second period. I thought... First period, we didn't really skate and establish any type of forecheck, and I thought as the second period went on, we uh, we did that. And you know, he made some big saves. I mean, a couple two on ones that you know, thought were in the back of the net, and uh, you know, we didn't get, get a, didn't get a chance to get to three nothing. Coach, how's the chemistry between Jordan and Bobo kind of come together over the course of this year? Uh. Good, especially on the power play there, you know. I mean, I've been mixing and matching the lines, you know, without Harper right now, it's been, you know, <clears throat> we're a little bit short-handed, but, you know, uh, those guys feed off of each other. Um, you know, Bobo's got a heck of a shot, um, you know, and you know, those guys have been, you know, killing penalties together. They got good chemistry. I didn't use them together tonight, you know, and Bobo's been on and off their line lately, but, you know, those guys certainly know where each other are. Was there any particular reason that uh, Chris and Olsen were You know, sometimes that uh, hitting the reset button is the best thing to do for a guy. You know, those two guys are great players, and they're going to be big players moving forward. It seems like Bobo, when he get, once he gets going, he likes to score in bunches. What kind of skill does he have that allows him to do that? 
Well, Bobo is, uh, leaves no stone unturned when it comes to preparation. Um, and, you know, when he's feeling good about himself, the puck's usually jumping in the net. He gets pretty hard on himself when, you know, he doesn't score or doesn't get a produ have a productive night uh, in his mind. And sometimes that gets in the way. But, you know, once he starts scoring, uh, you know, the puck finds its way in the back of the net. Jake seeing Jake Bukowski seeing his first game in a long while. He didn't get on the score sheet, but what do you think of? Uh, uh, Jake Jake has earned this opportunity. He gets better and better, and you know, I uh, love what I see out of him in practice. He skates, plays at a pace. He's physical. Did a good job tonight. Coach, they swept you guys last year. Is it a bit of sweeter this time around being able to do the same to them? Um. No, no, because this year is a completely different year, you know, um, and we've got <laughs> we got to focus on what we got going on right now. We can't be worried about what happened last year, you know. Um, but you know, they're, they're, it's hard hockey when you play them. I mean, you 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 earn everything you get, and you know they they're playing well. They played well this weekend. They they certainly could have won last night, and they had a chance to win the night, uh, but. It's uh, it's hard hockey against them, and they're well coached, and they got men, and uh, they do a good job. You've had some more opportunities over the last couple of weekends to, to play with the lead and have to protect it late in the game. Do you going to be happy with how teams kind of played in that situation? Yeah, you know, if you, it was funny before this little stretch here in the last two weekends. Uh, I think the only you know out of our wins, there were a lot of them were blowouts, and you know we. Uh, we had only won one or two one goal games, and you know, so it's nice to be able to do that. You know, Jake playing the way he is certainly gives us that opportunity. Um, but uh, we're also getting better. We're getting older too. You know, I mean, the freshmen have played a lot of hockey now, and you know, uh, I think we know how we want to play. There's clarity to our identity, and so you know, it's nice to be able to be in those pressure situations and have success. Brady, you obviously had a, a good World Juniors tournament. Did that um, add to your um, confidence moving forward? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it definitely helped me with the confidence, you know, coming back. Uh, I say it wasn't uh, my best half of the year, the first half. So uh, coming back, I really wanted to focus on playing my best every day in practice and, and in games. And, you know, coming off World Juniors, like I said, it, it gave me a lot of confidence. And, uh, you know, now I just try to focus on every day getting better. Is that a pass on the... Uh... The, your goal attempt, or was that a shot? 100%. I thought someone was back door, tried, tried to give it to him, and honestly, I was surprised to win, and so no, but I was definitely happy about it. You guys have been playing, uh, opened up the half with a 3 0 loss to Maine, but since then it's been great hockey. What's changed since? Since the opener, just the focus. Or the yeah, everyone's definitely dialed in. You know, we really, you know, we're a good hockey team, and we just got to show that every night. And you know, once we got that momentum going, it's really been helping us along now. And you can just see that every day you come to the rink, and it's really just a fun time to be around with all the guys too. What kind of momentum builder is getting a really good hockey sweep in, on this weekend? Yeah. Um. You know, it's just when when you get the when good things happen, everyone's just got good vibes, and you know that really takes you a long way. No one's really down on themselves. Everyone's helping each other, and you know you just you want to do everything you can for the team. So when that happens, it's just good things happen, and usually it's a good outcome like we've had so far.